This is 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The Electoral College is a complicated method for choosing a president. It was the result of a compromise made at the Philadelphia Convention, and the framers of the Constitution thought it was the best solution for selecting the president. Here's how it works. When people vote for the president, they're actually voting for the electors who are pledged to vote for the candidate who wins most of the people's votes. These electors form what is known as the Electoral College. Each state has a number of electors equal to the number of U.S. senators, two for each state, plus the number of U.S. representatives, which varies according to the state's population. For example, Florida has two senators and 27 representatives. Florida, therefore, has 29 electoral votes. The Electoral College includes 538 electors, 535 for the total number of members in Congress, and three electors who represent Washington, D.C. States with large populations have more electoral votes than states with small populations. A candidate must have 270 of the total 538 electoral votes to become president. If no candidate gets a majority of votes in the Electoral College, the House of Representatives selects the president by majority vote. Each state is allowed one vote. That's all for today's podcast. 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.